or L80E for the Chevy 2. So, you can't build one no more than this one. So, Mr. Wendell, uh, Reed, I talked to the guys out at Reed. They sent us a case. So, this is the, the ballistic case, the SFI ballistic case. Uh, Mr. Wendell, we talked to the people at Sonax. Sonax sent us all the badass shafts and everything for this transmission. It has, of course, Marty Chance triple disc lockup converter. We're L80 lockup, not aftermarket lockup shit. Um, then we had, uh, I'm forgetting somebody. Transstar? Transstar, yes, yes, okay. yes. And Transstar. So we got with all these people and we came up with the package to put this thing together. Wendell did, I didn't. Other than, you know, Marty came up with the converter. This transmission does not have a trans brake in it. I'm gonna foot brake it. But it does have overdrive and it does have a badass lockup converter because I have a plan in my head of what I'm gonna do. And I don't need no stinking trans brake. And it's got overdrive. <laughs> and I'm changing the gear. When I told Wendell what gear it's got in it, he goes, wow, really, you gonna leave that? I said, yeah, I said, bitch, you run 200 mile an hour before you ever lock the converter up. <laughs> it actually would. So, that is the best of the best of everything that you can even buy for a 4 LADE. And of course, just a jack with Wendell, I said, hey, by the way, so I can put this behind anything, it'll take any amount of horsepower. He said, well, now, James, um, I don't like it when you say that. And I said, well, but Wendell, he goes, let me put it this way. That has the best parts that, that can be bought for a 4 LADE. So that will take the most power that any one of them out there will take. So we're gonna make, I figure that that little small block's gonna make somewhere around 2,000 when we turn it all the way up. So I wonder how excited he'd get if I if I did a video, I was putting this in Reaper. That's exactly what I thought. He, oh, he'd have a fucking coronary on me. Well, yeah, he didn't like it when I stuck it on that motor I was fixing to put in the, the, the gold car. Mm -hmm. When he seen all those nitrous kits and shit hanging off of it, his buddy called him up and goes, hey, did you see Reaper putting that transmission in front of 2,500 horsepower? Boom, went to blowing up. Wendell's going, call me, brother, please. But that's how we become repeat customers. <laughs> yeah, so, well, kind of like, kind of like, here's what's funny. So the transmission that was in Stacy's car, when Wendell asked me how much power does it need to take, I said, ah, you know, you know, 1,000 horsepower, something like that. So he built a transmission that was good to 1,500. Didn't know at the time that Stacy's car was going to end up making 980 at the tire. So, well, actually, he built it to make 11, 1200. And then I turned around, put every bit of that, and then some to it, and it broke the case. It didn't hurt the transmission. I didn't lose the transmission. The hard parts and all the stuff we had in it from Sonex, nothing broke. We just split the case. So, we'll fix that problem. That was a phone call to read. It ain't gonna break that case. You guys remember when Sean, when it, when it did all that, it did some serious damage. Look at the size of that damn transmission pan. That thing probably holds 70 fucking quarts of oil. <laughs> I'm super excited about this. Yeah. You know that Chevy 2 is heavy anyway. I keep stubbing 4L80s and blowers and Stainless gas tanks and all that shit in it. That thing's probably gonna weigh 4,000 pounds. <laughs> and this converter's fucking cool. Yeah. And we'll see what happens when I got this bitch stuck, stuck in high gear and I reach over and lock the converter up, see what it does. It's gonna definitely be interesting. But we're going all with the same, the, same, the, the whole idea behind this car is for me to be able to drive it anywhere I wanna go. Just like if everything goes right, I plan on driving the gold car to LS Fest from here. This car, I want to be able to drive this car to California if that's what I want to do. And never think twice about the pieces and the parts. It's not that it makes, that it's going to make enough power to actually utilize something like this. But when you build them for big horsepower, you also build them for longevity. And that was a key thing on this deal. I wanted longevity. I don't want to have to call Wendell and say, hey, because I wanted to be a tight ass and get you to put less parts in it. So I build the baddest 4L ADE that you can build. 
That's what that bad boy is right there. It's so damn pretty. It's almost like a shame to put it in. I know, it is. It's very shiny right now. Yeah. I like it. I got my mock-up motor in. I got to put this transmission in. Heck, yo, this video. Come help me put a tranny in. All right.